folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Andromeda is sitting nicely above the roof of my house at the moment. It's been absolutely chucking it down all morning, but it's perked up now, as you can see. So my goal tonight is to spend somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours on the Andromeda Galaxy. I've only ever shot about half an hour's worth on this target before. So I'm quite looking forward to it to see what sort of improvements I can make over previous efforts. So um, yeah, I hope you'll come along and join me for the evening. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video, then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. So the kit that I was using tonight was my usual setup, the Skywatcher EQM35 mount, a TS Optics 60mm refractor, which is wide field, so perfect for the target, and a Canon EOS 800D Astro modified camera. Just to keep life exciting, we've had a bit of a passing shower going over. I uh, wandered outside because I've been doing my tea indoors and heard rain on the conservatory roof. So I'm in complete panic. I've run outside and covered my telescope and stuff up with waterproof jackets. Looks like it's just a bit of a passing shower. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get back to it fairly shortly. Hey, it's just about clouding over now, um, so I'm probably going to squeeze in about another 10 shots. I'm taking 60 second exposures, that's about another 10 minutes. In total I've probably got maybe 100 minutes, maybe 110, not quite the two hours because of the um, interruption with the rain. But uh, yeah, hopefully I've got 100 or so usable images. I'll find out when I go through them all tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you back tomorrow when I've um, got a bit further. Well, that was a bit of excitement last night with the uh, rain coming in. It's just as well I noticed that this was going on. Um, modern telescopes like this one here are uh, cram-packed full of uh, motors, electronics, and of course uh, your camera's all electronic. So I didn't really want to get that wet. But um, anyway, all, all was well in the end. Um, finally, I got 94 usable exposures taken at ISO 800 and I was taking uh, one minute exposures to create my image, which I've uh, now processed. I've stacked it in Sequitor and processed it in Photoshop and also I've used Starnet to reduce the, the strength of the stars in the image. So I'll put the image up in a moment. Uh, yeah, Andromeda's a, a good target for this time of year. For me, it sits immediately above my roof and in the general direction where the skies are darkest. Uh, it is perfectly possible to see Andromeda from the centre of a big city like London, for example. So easily picked up by a pair of binoculars. Technically, it's a naked eye object. Uh, sometimes I think I can see it from my back garden but I think that's probably my imagination getting the better of me. It appears as a faint fuzzy patch. It's actually a very large object, uh, would appear in the sky the, of the same order of magnitude as the size of the moon, but obviously thousands of times uh, dimmer. Uh, but if you're in a dark area and you know where to look, you can probably see it with your naked eye. It's actually quite easy to find 
Um, if you look for the constellation Cassiopeia, which is the kind of W-shaped constellation that a lot of people will be familiar with, and you look at the pointy bit of Cassiopeia, that points directly at the Andromeda galaxy. So it's, um, yeah, dead simple to find. It's quite a bright object as deep sky objects go and big. And so this telescope here, which has a wide field of view, is a, an ideal telescope to, to capture it. It sits about 3 million light years away, so it's actually a comparatively close as galaxies go. It's part of like the the local group of galaxies of, of which we're a member. Um, but yeah, it was a, quite a successful evening. I'm pleased with the picture that came out in the end. Um, I think it is better than any previous attempts that I've made, largely due to the fact that I had more exposure time, an hour and a half or so, maybe not the two hours I was after, but much more than I normally get. Uh, and probably a bit of improved processing by using Starnet and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll put the image up now. I hope you like it and I shall uh, see you next time. Take care.